Hello and welcome to a new video about Internet of Things. This time we are going to talk about a new platform we want to use. We are talking about Thingworks. Okay? Thingworks is the IoT platform from PTC. Uh, we know PTC from our Wuforia stuff. Uh, we use this Wuforia. And in in, that's the nice thing about Thingworks. Thingworks and Wuforia do interact to each other. Uh, so we can implement uh, IoT data to our Wuforia experiences. We will get to this. Uh, but first, let's have a little view on the user interface of, of Thingworks. Here, I mean, you know, in MQTT we had the MQTT broker. We also need in Thingworks some sort of server. Yeah? This server is called a Thingworks instance. Yeah? In school we have prepared some of the Thingworks instances for you. Yeah? In, if you have a regular PTC account and so on, you have to look where your Thingworks instance is located. Yeah? However, in school it looks like this. Yeah? Welcome to your Thingworks instance, and there is then a number and so on. Uh, well, and there is this button, Open Thingworks Composer. Okay. So the Thingworks Composer is the thing we are going to open. You are asked about the username and the password. Yeah. I will give that to you, yeah. or you can find it also in the script and so on. Yeah. If you have a PTC account and are not pupil of the Hotels and Burton, you need to enter your account here. Yeah, so, and that's it. Yeah. That's the user interface of Thingworks. You see on the left hand side, ooh, there are a lot of things. Projects, things, things, template, data shapes, network, ba -ba -ba, mashup, masters, gadgets, uh, data tables. Ooh, yeah. It's pretty complex. It's pretty complex. So, Let's have a short view on how the thing works is organized. Huh? Let's have a little view how those things are bound together. Things, data, Ooh, I can even scroll, application keys, users. Ah, let's switch. Let's have a look. So thing works. The thing or yeah, the thing which is holding everything together is called a project. Yeah? So this is this is the sort of the organizing scheme of Thingworks. Yeah? So we have a project. Project. These projects do contain usually can contain one or more so-called things. Yeah? So there's a thing. Maybe there are two things or more things. Yeah? Can be as many things we want. Things have a name and so on. And most important, thing do have, uh, if you have a look at the thing, Things do contain so-called properties. Okay, so there are properties inside. They can be of different types: text types, value types, property, boolean, property one, property two, property three, and so on. Yeah. So this thing is the one which is holding the data. Yeah. These properties are comparable to MQTT, the topics. Yeah? Now the topics are organized in things. Yeah? The topics are were organized in MQTT with the slashes. Yeah? Here they are organized in things with names. Yeah? So everything has different properties, can also be many. I have a lot of things. Yeah? Now, how do we check if we are allowed to to do something with this thing. Yeah? There are also the so-called application keys. A 
application key. This is controlling who is allowed to do what. Huh? Somebody knows the application key, it can change the thing and so on. Huh? Project holding things and application keys. Yeah? And a thing which is also held by the project are the so-called mashups. I'm not sure how it's written now with A or what. Yes, mashup. Mashups. Those are web pages. Huh? These are web pages containing, containing gauches, uh, trend curves and so on, displaying data of the things. Okay. All those things, all those parts of a project can be handled within the the Thingverse Composer. So we can do projects, we can do things, add things, we can add application key, we can add mashups and so on, and we can even add data storage. Yeah? So for historical data, it's also a part of the project. And that's it. Yeah? This is what is cont what, what Thingverse can do for us. Yeah? Access to the project yeah, or access to the things is with HTTP requests. Yeah, there are get and put requests. We're going to talk about this. Yeah? Then we can get data or put data. Yeah? There are also services which can be called with HTTP requests. Yeah, this is this is how this is working. Yeah? So, in order to to set up a project, yeah, we will do this in the next video to set up a project, set up a thing, yeah, set up an application key, in order to make it work, yeah? to collect data and provide those data to others. Yeah? This would be would be the goal. Yeah? Also here, uh, at least in school, we do use a, a numbering scheme. Yeah? We will always start with our school number 302 467. Yeah? Then we will add the class. Yeah? Then we will add our name. So in my case, it's Peter Schowski. Then we'll add the project name, yeah. So I don't know. The first project will be class, yeah. And then, yeah. And this is an advice now to everybody. Do use some suffix, yeah. So for a project, project use pr, yeah. For a thing use th, yeah. For application key use ak, yeah. The same stuff in front and the other things afterwards. Yeah? For a mashup, use MU. Yeah? This is an advice, regardless if you have here, like us in school, a numbering or a rule how to name your projects. Yeah? So, in school, the only thing you can select is this. Yeah? Because, you know, we will get lost in our server. All our pupils are doing a project, and then they, it will be a mess. Yeah. So this is the rule in school. If you have your own ThingWorks instance, you can select whatever like. And I, this is an advice, also not a must be. Use some suffix, then you can read. It's also organized somehow. Yeah. Like I said. Next time we are going to use ThingWorks to add a new project and add a thing and add the application key and see how this is working. Yeah. To add, to then set up, set up the server simply for us to use. This will be in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.